Welcome back to FLV. Thank everyone for subscribing and watching the channel. We have grown so much in a short amount of time. Thank you for all the support. So, hey, everybody's been requesting this song, Columbine. So, man, if it's about the Columbine thing that happened in the school, man, it's going to be deep. I don't know yet. Haven't watched it. Haven't heard it yet. So, thanks for watching again. You can't subscribe, subscribe. Hit the like button. Let's check it out together. Story of Ronald, the loneliest kid you'll ever meet. You'll probably never meet him because you've never seen him in the street. Ronald stays in the house, been pretty depressed since his dad passed. Already, so already he's depressed since his dad passed. So let's see what's going on with that. Been pretty depressed since his dad passed And left him in the darkness of his room with insecurities But would often consume offensive poisonous fumes Proceeding with an epiphany to beat his mother senselessly Proceeding with an epiphany to beat his mother senselessly? Oh my gosh Is the epiphany coming from his dad? Did his dad beat his mom? And now he's stuck in the cycle of that? I don't know his fumes proceeding with an epiphany to beat his mother senselessly. Ronald stuck in the middle to struggle to pull him off where his mother received pain and dropped it off at the altar. She finally realized that she was stuck in the cycle and optimist weighing options of taking her own life or dealing with all the problems she wanted to raise. Ronald realizing that domestic violence probably changed Ronald. There it is. There it is. Domestic violence probably changed Ronald. You got to be careful what you do around your kids, what you watch, what you listen to. If you listen to something crazy or watching something crazy, make sure you explain to your kids because kids are very impressionable. They know right from wrong, but they'll try to justify it because they say, hey, mom did it. It got to be okay, even though it may be a little wrong, but mom does it. Dad does it. Come on, man. Wow. Own life or dealing with all the problems she wanted to raise. Ronald realizing that domestic violence probably changed Ronald. It's Monday afternoon, 3 p.m. to be exact. Was exiting the bus where he was bullied by his peers. Entering the house and walking right into his fears. Seeing blood drip from the top to the bottom stair with a glary season. Hold up. Seeing blood drip from the top to the bottom of the stairs. Oh my gosh, did the mom kill herself? Oh my gosh, oh no. Looking right into his fears, seeing blood drip from the top to the bottom stair with a glare. He sees his mother and releases a screech. He saw her veins split in half with a blade by her feet. Her veins split in half with a blade at her feet. Look how vivid that rhyme is, man. You can picture that in your head. You can't unsee that. Oh my gosh. With a blade by your feet Couldn't believe the scene that his eyes were forced to receive Drops to his knees, God please let this all be a dream But it wasn't and paramedics start arriving to the residence His father already riffing about the cost of the funeral and now Really? That's your first thought? Your wife dead and you worrying about the funeral cost? Oh my gosh, what kind of family Ronald in man? Oh gosh they start arriving to the residence, his father already riffing about the cost of the funeral And now he's in the living room, belligerent as usual, Ronald's a punching bag for his dad who's leaving bruises to vi- Okay, hold up. Is this kind of like a Quentin Tarantino thing? Because in the beginning he said he has been uh, depressed since his dad has died And now he's saying his dad is using him as a punching bag. Is this a stepdad? Or what's going on? I'm kind of liking a loop here. Y'all tell me what's going on. And for his dad who's leaving bruises, the victim and victimizer relationship is abusive. Ronald's only 13 with the deprivation of dreams. His father's an alcoholic who's more concerned with his liquor than... Mm -hmm. 13 with a deprivation of dreams. Oh my gosh. Dude's living in a... He got a bad family situation, man. Dad's an alcoholic, more concerned with his liquor. Father's an alcoholic who's more concerned with his liquor than he is his own seed. Go get me a beer, nigga. His father... Wow, so he's more concerned with liquor than he is his own kid. Oh my gosh, come on, Ronald, man. Then he is his own seed, go get me a beer, nigga. His father was complicated, he didn't believe in limits. A man of little conviction who's struggling with addiction and now become well conditioned from drinking with repetition on a downward spiral. He loads the clip of his rifle. Mm, now he's drinking and got a gun. 
downward spiral, he loads the clip of his rifle Saying a prayer like he's searching for forgiveness It's a futile attempt, the Lord refuses to forgive him For that lifetime of sinning Now you praying for repentance All that alcohol dependence, he was physically dependent Then he's All that alcohol dependence, he was physically dependent Oh my gosh, what a bar how he put that in the song Ooh Repentance, all that alcohol dependence, he was physically dependent Then he says the Hail Mary, kiss the crucifixion penance Puts the barrel to his chin like this is the end, friends Now Ronald's left all alone in the system of foster homes full of pedi- Oh my gosh, now the dad's gone Puts the barrel to his chin like this is the end, friends. Now Ronald's left all alone in the system of foster homes full of pedophilic predators molested on the regular. Teachers don't understand why he hardly ever speaks, and his grades are getting worse as he academically plummets. The man, Ronald's going through it. Dad, mom's gone. Now seen them both kill themselves. Seen domestic violence. Now he's in foster home where people are trying to molest him and rape him. And oh my gosh, poor Ronald, man. And his grades are getting worse as he academically plummets Developed a speech impediment to pain He's impervious It's from his foster mother who's sneaking under his covers Ronald doesn't understand cause he had Why oh why Adults that do that to kids man should be castrated For real That's just sick Come on man He's yet to reach puberty, confused by perverted love he receives on the regular He tries to fight the feeling, but she always gets the best of him This bitch is taking his soul, and now there ain't nothing left of him Mmm, so she's taking his soul, ain't nothing left of him Just taking his soul and now there ain't nothing left of him Solitude in his room as he sits in the darkest corner He's medicating his pain with strains of marijuana Refuse to talk to a pastor, he don't believe in religion He said if God resides, then my mother would still be living mm. He said he don't believe in God Because if he did, his mom would still be living He didn't believe in religion Oh my gosh, how many times have I heard situations like that? I had friends who told me that they didn't believe it because they're taking their grandma away and other stuff that happened to them in their life. And why would God let that happen? A lot of people have doubt. They don't understand things when they happen. And they reach out to the wrong angle to blame someone else. And they don't believe. Wow. Ooh. Mother would still be living instead she left me in hell The agony of this prison No one understood that that was his defensive mechanism Not knowing that he wanted to push the pain that he was given The direction of a person that's living without a purpose He made it Facts Facts He ain't got no purpose He's deflecting it to somebody else He's crying out for help but you he don't know how to do it He's deflecting it to someone else You gotta see the warning signs out there man Oh that he was given the direction of a person that's living without a purpose He made it up in his mind that these motherfuckers deserve it In a world where this child was abused and left deserted He started studying killers such as John Wayne Gacy And those kids from Columbine He saw them as masterminds mm. Wow Too much stuff accessible to kids these days The internet is dangerous sometimes Oh my gosh, no way. I'm Wayne Gacy and those kids from Columbine. He saw him as masterminds, perfected the blueprint. And with the rifle, Ronald's accurate. The same barrel his father uses now was news. He loads the clips and he can. The same gun his father uses as muse. For Ronald's accurate, the same barrel his father uses now was news. He loads the clips and he cocks it as he throws it in the duffel. Smell of death, teen spirit, and a whole lot of trouble. He's bumping Marilyn Manson. You could probably feel the trouble. Ronald never. So he's playing the Marilyn Manson stuff and got a bunch of guns. And watch the Columbine and the John Wayne Gary. Come on, man. My like death team spirit and a whole lot of trouble He's bumping Marilyn Manson You could probably feel the trouble Ronald never talks to God Conversations with the devil Like please give me the strength to kill all of these motherfuckers As he's walking in the school with a fucking Mac 11 He's done with the disrespect so he's aiming it at your neck Popping plenty of rounds and laying his peers down As the blood starts to puddle The children begin to huddle Running dodging the bullets Ronald's finger on the trigger if he sees you
Dang, Ronald, man. This song is deep. The children begin to huddle, running, dodging the bullets. Ronald's finger on the trigger. If he sees you, then he pulls it. His classmates are his target. Then it's hotter than August from automatic magazines. He's releasing this a massacre, genocide of his generation. And generally speaking, he's giving generous portions of bullets that come and they seek and they singe, cleansing them of his sins. I'm guessing this is the end, cause Ronald saved the very last shot for himself. So he places the barrel inside the center of his chest, close his eyes, take a breath, and the rest you can attest to. Story of pain and agony written by your Yours truly, it's a treacherous allegory. <laughs> I hope you never confuse it. Don't lose it. Mm. Wow. Bullying, domestic violence, bad foster homes, being molested, nobody to talk to. Mmm. <laughs> Another PSA, man. Love your family, man. Look out for your family. They need some help. Get them the help, the counseling they need. Wow. That was a deep song. All right, this is uh, Final Laws Versus. Thanks for watching. You have to subscribe, subscribe. Hit the like button, man, and uh, catch you on the next song.